I still really like my purple pack. Uh... It's purple. Brr. I need more purple in this game. Brr. You're under arrest. Come back here, thief. All <laughs> oh, right, we have an oddish. All right, we really okay. You're saying this before we started. Mm -hmm. We need to make a decision on who our our sixth Pokemon's gonna be, and we should probably make that decision like now. Because we're going to need to make sure that they're leveled up properly. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, we straight up have a straight shot at the uh, the Elite Four after this. Mm-hmm. Um, so, we already have... Okay, let's look at what we currently have. Mm-hmm. So, go back to our party. Oh. Okay, so we've got a normal with Psychic Dark... And remember, we can move and water moves. We can get any move. We should from... probably go get you, fairy. The fairy one. Yeah, what? was that down in Fuchsia? Yeah, it was down in Fuchsia. You want to fly us down to Fuchsia? We've got a psychic electric, an ice, a fire flying, and a semi-useless grass type. Should I get rid of payday? At some... Yeah, I, I'd get rid of payday at this point. Because then I would have a full, um, complement of different moves. Yeah. So. I would probably suggest Fairy, just because it will be good against anything Lance throws at us. The dragons, you mean? Yeah. But Ice will also be good against the dragons, so Nine True. Tails would be Nine good. Nine Tails would be good. Okay. Because we've got... But it's always better to have two Pokemon that have counters. Yeah, because currently looking looking at this, the fighting... We're, we've got a hard counter to the fighting guy. We've got a hard counter ish to the ghost types which is specifically evie's dark move we could use another dark type but dark type pokemon didn't exist yeah so there's pretty much none um unless there was another pokemon that had dark moves which would be your marowak which you wanted originally but then decided against yeah because none of the moves were good mm -hmm. like none of them were gonna work uh and we've got the ice we have ice um, well, which no. Will, uh, which will be good if, against Dragon. Yeah. If but we're going up against the Ice, ice lady, lady, well, Veldora would be decent. Um, I could also give Evie a fire move. I, or we can have another fire type. Or what other? What else is good against Ice? Fighting. Fighting. And electricity. Electricity you have. Yeah. So really, let's, let's switch out Oddish with... What's just our highest level? What else do we have a high level? Yeah, we've got a couple of... Uh, uh, I think the other ones that... Well, right, the legendaries are going to be your Here, highest level. do sort search top. Oh. Do by level high to low. Sort by level high to low. Oh, it even tells you. That's inf That would have been useful information. <laughs> yeah, because you've, out you've out-leveled me there. So obviously, Articuno and Zapdos are at 50. Uh, Kabutops, you're not interested in having. Maybe Muncher, you want to have, but I still think they're silly. I... Um, and then Meowth was just a high level for no reason. Uh, because we traded it, that's yeah. right. That's Slowpoke, we just decided to catch that. Yeah, we just slow... caught a random Slowpoke. <laughs> Part of the problem slow is uh, stat distributions, EVs, IVs. We barely have any candy and a bunch of other things. I just want to check their summary. It's not going to be a good one. We pretty much would have to start chain catching things Oof. if we want to have actually good stats on one of these guys. Seal. So, honestly, all things considered, we should probably give... Um, let's go replace Evie's psychic move with the fairy move and payday with the fire. Uh, get you fairy and fire instead of psychic and payday. Because okay. I already have a psychic attack and that's only going to be tangentially useful. Well, I guess it would be helpful against fighting type. Um... And then all of these are a little low to yeah, level up. Yeah, it would take... We would... I mean, we could. We could actually very easily level up a bunch of things. 
All we'd have to do is just go on a catching spree oh my, in, in Victory Ditto. Road. I mean, we could do that here. Why don't we add... Well, when you... When Ditto transforms, does he acquire all the moves of his opponent? Yeah, it's still but not But it's, it's not great. good for battle. Whoa. I wanted to look at Snorlax's abilities here for a second. I mean... Because the, the one problem is Snorlax really doesn't know a whole lot of useful immediate moves. Uh, let's see. Belly Drum was added later. He might learn Crunch. Definitely doesn't... Yeah, Crunch, Heavy Slam, High Horsepower. And for whatever reason, he never learned Snore or Sleep Talk, which kind of sucks. Okay, Dodo acquires the moves, but not the stats. Can you teach Snore? Somehow this one has fantastic special defense, but is good and okay and everything else. Tentacruel. Was Snore not... Oh, it was introduced in Gen 2. Wow, that's annoying. Huh, fantastic so there are, there are actually no immediate useful moves that Snorlax knows and can learn. That's obnoxious. Why are you looking at this horror? <laughs> Get that out of here. I was just I was gonna be surprised if she just had exceptionally good moves and I was like, hmm. Yeah, you can teach Snore to baby muncher. Not in Gen 1, only in Gen 2. Well, pretty good for on those fronts. Yeah, the problem but not is there's no attack. there's no Gen 1 ghost physical attacks. Or f really fire physical attacks. He'd like he'd be able to learn fire punch, and like could use shadow ball. Yeah, we do have shadow ball on. It's way. still not ideal. I I can't wait till we hit Gen two and Gen three and have a little bit more move variety. I I wish they had and added Pokemon this. variety. That too. Yeah. Uh. So honestly, my vote is. Just say... But just to bring Articuno or Zapdos along? Yeah, if we can't make a better decision, just bring Articuno or Zapdos along. I'd say just leave it as such right now. Let's let's just beat the gyms. And mm -hmm. then when we're in Victory Road, if we find somebody that we particularly want to add to the group... Oh yeah, because Victory Road has a number of Pokemon too. Doesn't it even have Nidokings and Nidoqueens? Uh, maybe? Something I don't remember. Like that. I'm going to look at this. Um, well, in any case, we should head... Wait a minute. If we're in Saffron, doesn't that mean the gym is here? Yeah. And we haven't done the gym yet. So Pokemon we can find in Victory Road, Machop, Machoke, Zubat, Golbat, Rhyhorn, Rhydon, Geodude, Graveler, Onix, and Hitmonchan? But not Hitmonlee. So not actually that useful either. Yeah, all right. Oh, but first we want to go to the town. Oh, hey, hey. Evie's in good humor. It can't contain his laughter. Oh, yes, because you're such a good boy. Yes, you are, Evie. You have a nice police officer's outfit. Yes, you do. You're gonna lay down the law. The laws of Evie. Yeah, so we also have Moltres in, in Victory Road. Honestly, I still think we should go with my my strategy of just uh, jamming every rare candy we can into Evie and just let Evie <laughs> solo tank the entire Elite Four. Oof. Where are you going? I thought we wanted to go to Fuchsia to get the moves. Let's beat the gym first so we don't have to come back. Oh, really? Because we're I... literally right here. I suppose we do have... Like you're standing in front need. of the gym. I know, I just, I just came up to the gym. Are you going to come back? I just walked through the door. I'll come back. Oh. Uh, uh. Saves me vigorously shaking the Wiimote a bunch of times. Whoa, this is not what I expected. This looks a lot cooler in this version. Yo, champ of the making. Supply Surprised by all the glitz and glam, Saffron City is the biggest city in Kanto. And its gym gets its fair share of challengers, too. You'll need to have a Pokemon that's at least level 45 if you want to stand a chance. Hooey, boy, do you have one. Show me a Pokemon that's... 
Uh, <laughs> Oddish. <laughs> yeah, give him, give him the hot. No. Nah, I, I will choose. I'll choose Eldora. Uh, no problem. That Pokemon's at least level 45. All right. Well then, fly off to meet the gym leader, Sabrina. I suppose we just use the portals then. I can't teleport, but I can super jump. What? Hmm. I'll go for this one. Because we want to fight everyone up yeah. leading up to her. Absolutely. This person looks interesting. Are they the psychics? The people with the balls floating in front of them? Yeah. Are you scared of psychics that use unseen power? I think that might be a dude. Okay, maybe it is. We'll have to look. It looks like a lady. Very, yeah. But very androgynous. Yeah. Oh, Johan. Yep. Then maybe it's, it's a, a guy. Dude. It's a dude. You're challenged by Psychic Johan. It's an out slow bro. I like how it's canonical that there are people, like human beings with psychic powers in this universe, and yet, like, nobody even thinks <gasps> about it. It's Evie time! Eh. Yeah, we haven't even gone back to the Poké Center after taking down Giovanni. Wait. Oh, are, well. Are, are you weak? Right now? I'm just running out of payday. Oh. Don't worry, Vivi's using VV Volley against Lobro. The power of love. Explosions. Are being broken as hell. Oh. There's the trick. Always walk left or right, depending on which teleporter you enter. From never go up. Well that's Andy. Oh, you mean if you want to get every single person? Uh, yeah, apparently. Well, because walking up would break the sequence. So it's it obviously gets you closer. Let's see. So baddie, baddie bad. bad. Baddie bad. Yay. The power... Uh, what? Uh, uh, <laughs> wow. Okay. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, that was some weak nonsense. He got trounced. Oddish learned poison powder. Oddish is gaining so many levels. I never foresaw this. Of course it couldn't. Okay, so we want we uh, came from that one, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, so we want to go. Uh, Wait, isn't this the beginning? Yes. Okay, so we want to go back. Well, actually, okay. So then we should go up. Okay, so go left. But we 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 came from this one though, so we need to go to this one. And then we choose. No, go back, go back, chill, go back. Why? Because you'd walk to the right last time. Here. No, well, no, no, but okay, but listen to me. We we've came, never been through this portal. We came from this one, though. No, we didn't. We came from the white, right one, and then he went back into the right one. Did you not? What? See? What? And this is where we started. Wait, then both of these take you to that dude's room. What? So we have to go to the upper one. See? This place is stupid. We're going up. And now we have to make a choice. Just want to go down? Uh, I'll go down here. Well, we'll be able to defeat this girl. You're under arrest. <laughs> Sabrina is younger than me, but she has earned my respect. Money. I wonder how old canonically they are in this game. Uh, well, we're we're itty bitty little kidlets. We're probably ten years old. Isn't that the the age at which you were allowed to get Pokemon? I, that is the dumbest. Remember? Yeah. You have to be ten years of age in order to get your That's first. So Pokemon. dumb. There's. It's like, oh, you're ten years old. Well, time to go on a country-spanning journey. Good luck. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what? And 
I remember playing the game and I was about seven. So I was, I was laughing to myself because I'm like, I'm technically too young to be a Pokemon trainer, but I will be. I think I started playing Pokemon when I was around 10. Well, so the, the game came out in 98, didn't it? Yeah. I don't think I played it immediately, though. Oh, you see, I did. I played it the year it came out. What is this holiday season it came out? I, yeah, I only knew one person that really played video games because I just moved into the area. Eh, not that we're going to really need to worry. You want to get rid of Grove? Don't you dare. Oh, okay. So you don't want, you probably I, prefer poison powder to stun spore? Uh, stun or? spore is more useful. Okay, so over poison powder. Yeah. Because the problem with poison powder is... It takes uh, off little bits. Of... Well, yeah, it takes little bits, and we're one-shotting things left and right. I mean, it truly doesn't even matter, because... We're, we're not going to use Oddish. We're straight up never going to use the Oddish anyway, yeah. Regrettably, I have lost. Yeah, don't come back until you're a ma master. That is, like, legitimately worrying. Wait, what Let's about the... Let's try this one. Sure. Well, you know, the fact that uh, you straight up, like, kick your ten-year-old out... <laughs> and they go on this like giant country spanning journey and then there we go we can fight this lady I it's like imagine if your parents kicked you out at 10 years old and told told you to never come back until you were like as good of a painter as like I I don't know uh, Michelangelo eh, yeah pretty much you and I our Pokemon shall battle Wait, they've seriously had Ash Ketchum having a birthday party episodes in the anime and he's never gotten older. That is really weird. Ooh. You're challenged by Chandler Amari. She really does look like she's about to start beating us with that thing. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Hunter's actually pretty small. Uh, in battle, yeah. Now, do I still use Batty Bat against yeah. ghost types? Yep, absolutely. Oh. A dark is rather helpful. I For some reason I always associated Why did I use payday? Oh no. <laughs> Whatever. For some reason I always thought that ghost types would use psychic or dark attacks. But uh, some ghost types do use psychic moves, right? Not usually. Only if they go psychic, which is fairly rare. Um Sleep powder. Keep old moves. Like, who cares? This is Oddish. It is Oddish. As soon as it turns into a gloom, we're just turning it in, into a victory... Not a vile victory bowl. Vile... Oh, yeah, it is vile, vile plume. Okay, claps. You get the clap! Oh, yuck! I just... I think that was like the, only the way first... way I'll ever get that is from you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the only way I'll ever get it is from you. <laughs> For goodness sake, this is not the type of conversation to be having. <laughs> Seriously though, that's the this. first thing I ever learned about koalas. Koalas? Is that they all have the clap and it's like, wait, hold on, what? And then I went out to learn a bunch about koalas and found out that they are the most useless creatures. Yeah, remember that video we found? I of wonder the one which koala has getting beaten more of down an environmental and... benefit. Koalas or mosquitoes? No, mosquitoes, regardless, they're always going to be the worst animal in it. Yeah, in I existence. guess mosquitoes are kind of negative, just like ticks and stuff. Whereas koalas, like, at least their corpses are fertilizer. Whereas mosquitoes kill thousands and thousands of people every year. There's no way that. If there had to be a creature that gets annihilated from the face of the planet, I think scientists unanimously agree yeah, that mosquitoes. mosquitoes should be. Mosquitoes and ticks. Parasitic. Brr. I lost after all. Okay. I don't know. Well, I'm going one of these. I, the problem is I can't even see a full map. Well, we can fight this person. Sabrina is young, but she's also our highly skilled gym leader. 
I won't let you reach her easily. We'll see about that, Buster. Yeah, people do bring up that mosquitoes provide food for fish and animals that, say, like bats, you know, flying through the air. But I think there, I think scientists were doing some studies and they were trying to like see. I mean, it could be a wildly biased study of I hate mosquitoes. <laughs> no, that's true. It just it makes me wonder if there would be other insects that would rise up and still be able to. The problem perform. is like. There's no competition for food, really, with mosquitoes. Because, like, they're n it's not like they're mosquitoes are edging out, like, mayflies, for example. Mm -hmm. Even though they exist in similar ecosystems. No, that's true. I just know that a lot of animals depend on, say, moths. Yeah. They're dumb as bricks. <laughs> I love moths. They're they're, they're real pretty. cute. And they're real pretty. But they're real dumb. We'd, um... So I, I went to... So when I was a senior in high school, I had art classes. Mm -hmm. And it was like every Sunday night or something like that. And we had I a really particularly... I really should just be using um, payday as well. Yeah, probably. I mean, I'm about out of payday, so I'm just going to start thunderbolting things. You're getting no EXP from this, comparatively. Um... Ow! Down and out! But it was like a particularly warm October or something. And it was... I remember how we had like all those gnats on the way to my parents' house? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hated those gnats. I've never been assailed by swarms of gnats before in my life. Yeah. I didn't even know- well, imagine that many, but they're moths. I did- Like, I had what? trouble driving. But the moths were running into your car because- No. Wait, They what? were just- There were that many of them. It wasn't that they were going for the light. It's just that there was just literal clouds of moths just everywhere. Hmm. The Saffron City Gym is famous for training psychics. You want to see Sabrina, don't you? I can tell. Isn't that obvious? That's why I'm here. Don't use the obvious to pretend you have some kind Look, of foresight. Look, I'm a telekinetic. I'm just good at guessing, and well, it's freaking obvious. <laughs> Telekinesis would be awesome. Hey, look, he's got your nose. Hey! My nose isn't like that. <laughs> Should I use Payday? Yeah. I'll use payday. And I'll use the last of my payday. That's a tougher hypno than the... Than the cadabras. The cadabras yep. are weaker. But it's still... Still yep. knocked it out. Still wrecked. Oh, I landed a critical hit. That's why. Good job, Evie. What is even going on? Yay. 64. I... Oh, I do not remember. Wait, was uh, someone posting someone else's Twitch account? Someone just showed up and posted a, a link to a Twitch clip, which could have been anything. I, honestly, whenever so anybody just out. shows up and just... Yeah. Uh, here, keep going. Keep okay. going. Whenever anybody just link, post, post, uh, posts a link in Twitter... Unless they've been confirmed as a trusted account. Twitch, you mean? Uh, yeah, Twitch. Uh, they just get, you know, they get their comment deleted. And then, yeah, I guess they're just posting to somebody... Somebody else's, uh... Twitch? As, yeah. like, an advertisement? Yeah, that's advertising in someone else's. So, you took it out, right? Yeah. And banned them. Because, mm -hmm. like, I don't want somebody that just dumps links. Wait, didn't we use this I'm one before? I'm just gonna put my controller down and let you figure this out. Um... <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'll go back. So I'll, I should just take the right corner one. Probably. I don't actually know the way. I don't know the way either, but I, I'll I'll try. So we tried the lower right the last time, correct? Uh, I will be able to so I'll try the because I was busy banning fools. 
There, you there go. we go. Yeah, this is the way we probably want to go. Correct? Yep. Or should I just go to the other one and see where it goes? Probably. No! Does it take us to the beginning? Yes! Oops. What were you thinking? <laughs> where did you think that was going to drop us? I thought it was going to take us to the <laughs> For, like hidden apartment. The for other way. <laughs> <laughs> Her okay. secret shrine to Team Rocket? I'll find the way. Her love dungeon? I'll find the way. Her room packed entirely with slow pokes? <laughs> just vibrating slowly. <laughs> what? Well, they're not going to vibrate quickly. Yeah, we've already fought her. Not e Wait, we haven't fought her. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to find all of the people. You must be a lost trainer. Yeah, that was kind of my bad. I, I decided to try out another portal spot because, well, I wanted to see if there were more people to fight. And I found you, Stacy. I did. <laughs> I feel like you're reaching here. <laughs> no, that was my aim. I wanted to see if I could use the other portal to get to the other side so I could find the people that could have also led to Sabrina's spot. <laughs> Do you understand what I mean? <laughs> it just feels like you're grasping at straws to justify your stuff. No. Face it, you're under arrest. <laughs> And you get the clap. Hey. I really should. We have items to restore my my power points, yeah. right? Is that was that what it's? What, is that yeah. what PP stands for? Power points. Y yeah. I wonder if they ever got into an uh, an issue with Microsoft over that. Uh, and. Yeah. For Razor Leaf? Oh, who's learning? Uh, Oddish. Uh, uh, absorb, absorb, probably. Yeah. Not that it matters. Now, I will admit, I had actually forgotten that Sabrina's gym was the psychic gym. What? Because, like, I don't... There just aren't a whole lot of psychic types or, like, ghost types in this game, and so this gym just has both. And it annoys me a little That's bit. That's why I always associated ghost types with psychic moves, because it, I thought that they were associated with one another. No, they're not. Not at all. It's... It's actually kind of dumb? I don't know. It, it bugs me a little bit, uh, just how little... Last and yet so strong. Like uh, how little variety uh Gen 1 had to some degree. Like you had you had like a boatload of poison types and like ground rock types. Like almost every grass type was gra grass poison. And almost every And we had fought her. And yeah. there were like a ton of poison and poison flying. Because you had, like... No! I don't know, they are just, like, bucket loads of... Of, like... I'm gonna say semi-undesirable Pokémon, or, like, redundant Pokémon. And I'm a little bit miffed that, like, it took them several generations to actually have, like some of the more interesting combos show up, like... Uh, I mean, easy example would be Ghost Steel. Yeah, there's far too many, uh, water types. Yeah, there's a ton of water types. Mm-hmm. That there is. <sighs> I should figure it out at some point. Hey, there, there we go. go. And it was the upper left, left one, right? Yeah. Whereas, like, I think there's straight up... Yeah, there's only one pure flying type. Because they had, like, a lot of flying normal for some reason. They... Why are you saving? I'm just used to it, okay? From the original games. We... Now, I should also give my... No, Abby why? PP. No. Why? Just, just wreck her. It doesn't matter. We're... How many does she have? It's fine. It doesn't matter. You can use your freaking bouncy bubble and it'll still wreck her. Um... Evie is a monster. 
That's because of these over levels. There's yes, but there's it means there's no reason to prepare. Just just destroy. <laughs> I like how they have multicolored seats in the background. You know, pink ones, yellow ones. Blue ones. <laughs> I like how there's a burglar sitting in the back. Oh yeah! I've One got the best view in the city, uh, stadium. <laughs> Hey, that's lewd. <laughs> I mean, look at his face. I know, he's smiling. <laughs> he's so smug. So, you've come. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic powers since I was a child. It started when I carelessly threw a spoon aside, and it bent itself into an unnatural shape. I dislike battling, but if you wish to... Then I will show you my power. Oh yeah, baby. Show her your powers. <laughs> you are challenged by gym leader, Sabrina. Sabrina sent out Mr. Mime! Oh, oh. Kill it! Ah. With fire! I don't have my fire moves yet. But I do have bad bad. Die! <laughs> you horror potato! <laughs> Not quite. But I'll finish it off. Uh, he's got a vaguely potato shaped everything. He's just weirdly lumpy. I guess it's supposed to be more bubblegumish, but. Ugh. They actually had quite a lot of psychic types in this, now that I'm thinking about it. We had the whole Abra line, Mr. Mime, Jinx, uh, Slowbro, Hypno, Slowbro. There are probably more. Uh, Star Starmy. Oh yeah. Baddy bad. But yeah, only one ghost type line in the entire Gen One. Whoa. Yeah, for some reason they're really weak to your electric moves. I don't think Mr. Mime is a psychic type. He's a pure psychic type. Yep. Mr. Mime's shoulders are canonically dodgeballs. What? Uh... What? Very bad. Sniped! Maybe that's why he's sort of standing around. You'll get to use Batty Bad over my cold, <laughs> dead body! With his hands out as though he's supposed to catch something. But I thought Mr. Mime was supposed to be a fairy psychic. cloud mime. He's yeah, they, fairy they, they did they add, added. They added fairy to him later. Yeah. He might have fairy in this one too, but I honestly don't know, and I'm not interested enough in him to check. And Jinx, uh, she seems to have most of the ones you despise. Yes. I know a lot of people hate Hypno, but I actually don't mind him so much because of Jinx and Mr. Mime. And mm -hmm. many others. Oh yeah, there were a lot of psychic type trainers in Fuchsia, uh, the Fuchsia City Gym. I forgot about that. Why? This loss shocks me, but a loss is a loss. I admit I didn't work hard enough to win. Your victory has earned you a Marsh Badge. Why Marsh? Because swamps are associated with mental powers, right? And dark, darkness, and ghosts, and woo, the marsh. No. I associate marshes with, like, the undead. Well, once again, ghosts and darkness. I, 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 it works. That's not how it is. well. <laughs> marsh should be the poison one. No, that's true, because poisonous Pokemon would be yeah. dwelling in marshes. She should have given you the mind badge. Because what are the other ones? Isn't there, like, the spirit badge? I, you know, I don't know if I've paid a single bit of attention to any of the badges up until now. Well, maybe we'll have to when I had cause to, cause to complain about it. You got a marsh badge from Sabrina. 
A Marsh Badge raises the level of Pokemon that will obey you to level 80. For Pokemon that you have received from another trainer. Yeah, we're kind of, kind of close there, actually, with Raichu. And wait. Please, take this TM with you. You got Calm Mind from Sabrina. TM 33 is Calm Mind. It makes the Pokemon concentrate to boost both its special attack and special defense in battle. Psychic power isn't something that only a few people have. Everyone has psychic power. People just don't realize it. Or they just don't have enough midichlorians to allocate that power to them. There we go. I'm a little bothered that most of these characters aren't even, like, turned to face. Bava! And he boastfully waved its tail around. Yes, you enjoy the crowd, don't you, Evie? You love having an audience Wait, when you trounce on. people. The poison badge is called the soul badge? What? Okay. What? Hold on. Why are these backwards? Yeah, yeah, the soul badge would have made sense. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. You were going to give me a high five. Gen 1 gym badges. Badges. Okay. Uh. Yeah, yeah, you're so cute. Oh, I want to do the dog cheek thing. Little cheek bump. Huh. Exactly. I totally forgot that in different, uh... In different generations, the batches would straight up boost your... Your stats. Including in Gen 1? Oh! Yeah, apparently having the soul badge actually increases your speed by about 10%. I never knew that. Awesome. That's kind of broken. Awesome. So originally, Fuchsia City's gym was going to be the Psychic Gym, and Saffron's the Poison. Why didn't they switch the badge around? Yay. Okay. So Boulder Badge makes sense. Cascade Badge also makes sense. Thunder Badge, yep. Rainbow Badge, sure. Soul Badge, Poison? Nope. Marsh Badge, nope. Volcano badge, yep, that makes sense. Earth badge, yep. Yeah, so they really just didn't flip them around. <laughs> That's so lazy. <laughs> they switched the whole gym around, but not the badges. Mm -hmm. That's so lame. I wanted there to be a story. It, it's down It's down another one. one. Yeah, like one or two. Why is the city so big and why are oh, you're you actually stall me because you It's over on the left. Teleport. Oh yep. Even further. There it is. If I just walk down the street a little bit further. You know, I you'd almost have thought that would be something they would have fixed for this version. It's shocking how how faithful they went. It's like, nope. Gotta have everything right, even if we made him whoopsie. Back in the day, time to keep that whoopsie around, because it's part of history. Gosh darn kids are gonna have to live with it. Which, yeah, realistically, we will live with it, honestly. Wait, like how Hubert in Tales of Grace's F shouts instant balls when he uses broadside waltz. What? Oh, you're laughing so much. Oh. They didn't add missing, though. No. It's not 100% faithful. That's true. I'm a little disappointed about that. Or the Mew catching trick. Well. Well, they they want to sell Mew yeah, in a they $50 dollar a, Pokeball. They wanted to monetize Mew as hard as they possibly could. We're going to sell you a peripheral and a Mew along with it, but it's going to cost as much as the game. 50 bucks. Like, I would have bought that thing if it was like 20 yeah, if it was 20 bucks, 30, I would have bought it. 30 I could have done. 50? <laughs> no. Like, 40 would have been a stretch. Like and I'm, I love Mew. Yeah, I really like, do. I, I would have maybe considered... Uh, so yeah, because yeah, we got to get the moves. Like, I would have considered 40 for, like, a Christmas thing for you. Just because. But 50 is a, is a bit much. <laughs> 